Now again, when I play a note like this, it's important to think about phrasing, you know, with a saxophone player, they've got obviously breath control and vibrato they can do. Now, to me, obviously, we've got a couple of different types of vibrato uh, on a stringed instrument. We can either do the bending the string, or we can do an actual more of a classical vibrato that a cellist might do. And to me, this is one of the things I really like. I, I don't use the kind of sideways string bending stuff that much, but I use this type of vibrato a lot, you know. So especially, you know, when, when we're playing something that the notes are going to ring for like a couple of beats or even a whole bar or whatever, you know. You can see I'm experimenting with a dynamic envelope of the note as well. So as I'm sliding into the note too. So for instance, if it's a again our D minor. So you can see there I slid in and out of the D note. Now this is something that's just very subtle, and I'll demonstrate this with the track too, where I'm just really gonna work around that little phrase. And you'll see I'm gonna make the most out of like a three or four note idea or cell and really extrapolate as much music as I can from that.